Hello, welcome to Excellence Link Academy. For today, uh, we're going to be discussing on what first principle method of differentiation, but involving what rational numbers, right? Numbers in, in form of what fraction, right? So if I have a uh, let's say example, an example, um, if I have y is equal to one over x. I'm told to differentiate this via what? First principle method. Before I apply my first principle method, let me recall you guys. Let's use our general method to solve this and let's see what we have. If I have y is equal to 1 over x, and I'm going to solve it using what? General method. What are the concepts? My first task here now is that I'll convert this in what? In form of indices. So how about? y is equal to what? x is power minus 1. This is indices. Now, if I apply my general method, I am differentiating y with respect to what? x becomes what? the y over the x is equal to simply what? multiply by the power. That's the principle. Multiply what? by the power. The power here is what? minus 1 times what? everything here. I have x minus 1. Then what? Subtract one from the what from the part minus one. If I proceed, my y by the x is equal to minus one times x becomes what? Minus x, right? Then what? Minus two. Minus minus one times x becomes what? Minus x. Minus one minus one becomes what? Minus what? Minus two. If I apply my what? My um let's let me call it indices, right? I'll have what? The y over the x is equal to if I let's say for instance I have a is power minus two. If I apply the concept of indices, I have what one over a is power two. This is indices. I will apply this concept to this man here because what uh, minus one over what x is power two. If I differentiate this this way, so here is my answer. After what apply what general method. Now let's now apply first principle method and let's see what we have. If our answer is what comparable with this. Now let's see what I said that for the for first principle method, what do you do? You add what change your y to y and what change in x to x. So I have y, this y, then what plus what change in y is equal to 1 over what x is what x what plus change in x. I have this. Take y to the what other side I have what change in y is equal to 1 over x plus change in x. If I take y to the other side, plus what? Minus what? Minus y. But what we said that y initially was what? 1 over x. 1 over x. If I anyway see y, I put what? 1 over x. Becomes what? Change in y is equal to. 1 over what? x plus change in x minus y is what? You say y is what? 1 over x. 1 over what? x. At this stage, I'll take what? LCM. The SM is simply what? The multiplication of what? All the two terms here. So taking LCM at this section, the two are my LCM. So, so at this point, I'll look for LCM. I'll have my LCM will be the two x into x plus change to x, right? So the, the concept is that if I'm having two, um, like, if the term are not the same, right, I'm looking for the LCM, so I'll put the two as my LCM. So if I divide all this by this, listen, if I divide all this, I have x into x plus change in x, divided by this man here, x plus what, change in x, this cancel out what? This, I'm left with what? X. That becomes X. In 2, I have 1. I'm off. This is minus. If I, if I take all this thing here, divided by this thing, if I take everything here, plus change in X, divided by what? X. This cancel out what? This, I'm left with what? All this. That becomes what? In 2X plus what? Change in X. I have this. So what do I do? I have by what? change in y at this point, right? So I'll take my change in y to this level. Change in y is not equal to x plus y1 becomes what? x. 
So minus what? Minus into x plus what? Change in x. I have this. So over over what? X into x plus change in x. X plus what? Change in x. So I have this. So my next tax line is that. My next tax line is that. I what? Expand this bracket. I have change in y is equal to x minus times x plus what? Minus x. Minus times what? Minus what? Minus what? Change in x over x into x plus what? Change in x. So um, I have this this way. So what do I do? I know that x will cancel out minus x plus x will cancel out what? Minus x. I'll be looking for change in y is equal to minus change in x over x into x plus what? Change in x. I have this. So my next task now is what? I will what? Expand this. If I expand this back, I'll have um, change in y is equal to minus change in x over x and this is plus x squared plus x multiplied the part of s change in x right s change in x now having divided uh, sorry having what expanded these brackets here my next tax now is what divide two by change in x so divide by what change in x now because what change in y over what change in x is equal to minus change in x over what x squared plus x change in x remember what change in x that divided by change in x i'll have this right so if i proceed obviously um i will have my change in y right over what change in x is not equal to minus what change in x over x squared plus x change in x division comes to what? multiplication there's a thing is equal one here so I will invert I will have one by what? change in x hence this cancel out what? this I will left it what? change in y by what? change in x is equal to minus what? one over what? x squared plus x change in x multiply by what? one over one. Hence, one minus one multiplied by what? By what? One. I have change in y by what? Change in x is equal to minus one over what? All this. I have x squared plus what? S change in x. Right? So I have this. Now listen. After you have divided all two by change in x, and you are still having change in x, what do you do? You take limit of what? Change in x to what? Zero. It simply is anyone is changing x, I'll put what zero. I have my change in y over change in x is now equal to what? Minus one over this is what x squared plus x into what? Zero. Anyway, it's still equal to what? Zero. So my final answer, my change in y over what? Sorry? Change in x is equal to what? Minus one over x squared. Uh, if I have plus x into 0, I'm left towards 0. So here's my final answer. When I use general method, I have minus 1 over x squared. Also, when I use present method, I have minus 1 over x squared.